Well, the countdown continues. Just 15 days until Nebraska sees its first total solar eclipse in 500 years. This will definitely be a photo-worthy event, but doing it the right way is key. Channel 8's Evan Hummel has some pro tips to help you capture the moment. That's right, Nicole. If you're planning on photographing or looking at the eclipse through a lens, there's some th things you should know on how to be safe. Dozens of photo and eclipse enthusiasts gathered at Homestead National Monument to get some safety and photography advice from professional Brad Getch. Uh, make sure you're using filters, uh, especially when you're zoomed in on the sun, um, just to make sure that you don't burn out your eyes or burn your camera, because either can happen. Those filters he's talking about are called solar filters. They can be used on cameras or telescopes and can be purchased online. They range in price from about $13 to $50 and block harmful rays from your eyes that could cause damage to your cornea. Safety is our number one concern and so having this workshop early on before the eclipse is going to be very helpful to the visitors both coming to the park site uh, for this event uh, as well as for visitors that are going maybe somewhere else for this event as well. They While there's not clear evidence whether or not the sun will damage your smartphone, NASA doesn't recommend pointing it directly at the sun. It's also okay to take pictures during totality. There's also telephoto lens attachments for your smartphones which cost $20. Getch says most good pictures come with some preparation. The key is kind of, my, my big key is have a plan, know what you, you want to capture uh, ahead of time and kind of plan for that and focus on that one concept. He's been photographing partial eclipses since 2014. This is his very first total solar eclipse. If you want to buy a solar filter, we provided a link on our website at klknTV.com. Yeah, get them before they're gone. It's an exciting time. Absolutely. Thanks, Evan. Mm -hmm.